How's it going, buddies? My name is Obdeen. Today we're playing a game called The Park. Now, this game has actually been already released on Steam for quite some time, I believe. Um, but it's recently just come out on the Xbox One. That is the version that I'm going to be playing it on because my laptop's just not powerful enough to run it, you know, run certain games. Um, it's meant to be a psychological horror, I believe. So I'm quite looking forward to this. So without further ado, let's begin. So I see that new game. Oh. I meant to turn my volume up and down a bit. The park is a narrative experience, best played in a dark room wearing headphones. It deals with subject matter that may be disturbing to some players during the course of play. They can manipulate graphics, audio, control settings, and your sanity. This is perfectly normal and should not be cause of any alarm by circling the park. Now, this is going to be quite interesting. Um, that's about as dark as I can get it. <laughs> Funcom presents. In my heart and mind. I always return to Atlantic Island Park. Right, hang on, can I actually turn the subtitles on? Just that thing then reminded me of Silent Hill in my heart and in my mind. I see that place. Silent Hill. I'm not knocking it, don't worry about it. Uh, settings. Yeah, I thought I didn't fucking apply them. Okay, let's continue. Mr. Bear. I haven't seen Mr. Bear, Callum. <laughs> I wonder when this was Stay in the car. I'll go and ask information. I wonder when this was actually set because those jeans are fucking retro as fuck. Does he have any windows down? No. The child will suffocate. But that's not our problem. Well, it, it is, but. Atlantic Island Park. They have we can drink bingo. Ooh. Attention patrons, the park is now closed. Please make your way to the car park at your earliest convenience. Employees prepare the park for shutdown. Press A to interact with objects. Okay. Callum was born the day this place opened. This is his favorite place in the world. I got a feeling that it's going to be really fucking morbid. Is there anybody even about? Oh yeah, there is. Okay. Hey, Lorraine. Lorraine. Don't blame yourself, Lorraine. People lose things all the time. Take a deep breath and think about the last place you saw your son's teddy bear. Stop. How do you know my son's lost his teddy bear, you when fuck? He's so calm about it as well. Your child has just gone into a murderous park. I'll let you in. It's like, cheers, mate. Wait for mommy, Callum. Come on, this way. Wait up there for mommy, Callum. Okay. Come on, mommy. Welcome to the park. Read the flyer. Welcome to Atlantic Island Park. When I first came to visit Solomon Island... Blah, 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 bingo. Jack and Wendy's bed and breakfast. Huh. Callum, I told you to wait in the car. This is just going to get really Over fucking here. weird dead quick, isn't it? There's something special about the entrance to an amusement park. The line drawn between the real world and the world of whimsy within. On this side, the apathy of our everyday lives. And on the other, anything we might dare to dream. It's no wonder Callum ran back inside. I wouldn't want to leave either. Attention employees, the park is now closed. Have a safe journey home. This would be a very run down amusement park though. Okay. It's already getting weird. Oh God! The park. What happened here? Right. Okay. It's easy to get lost here. Oh, bumper cars! 
Where the fuck would he go? Callum, where did you go? Alright, Callum. Come here, little fuck. Callum. Oh my god, that's so creepy. Come to mommy, Callum. Is there any point in me shouting because he's clearly not fucking listening? Stop, Callum. Alright, Callum, you fuck. Carry killing is Satan's whore. Okay. Callum, come <laughs> back here right now. Over here. Don't hide from me, Callum. This way, mommy. Man, this kid's a little shit. I know he's, I know he's just a kid, but still. I left the windows up so he could not breathe. Damn it. Examine oh examine the shoe. I think this belongs to Callum. How the fuck has he already lost his shoe? Alright, well I'll take his shoe. Beat him over the head with it when I catch him. Examine plat oh, that's just fucking creepy that. Chipmunk, huh? Just a drunk guy in a suit. Chad the chipmunk works in class, Chad even seen can't even seem to pass. Chad gets angry, likes to fight, Chad is beaten every night. Chad We'll have a dead end job. Chad will die a useless slob. Oh. It fucking sucks to be you, mate. Pretty sure Chad is a nice guy. Mommy needs to see you, Callum. What's this? Alright. Where are you? Catch me, mommy. No. It's so weird, man. Thought that plant was a person. I was like, no. Stop, Callum. This way. Where are you? Callum, stay where you are. Can she see Stop. him? I don't know where he is. Okay. Come out, sweetie. Is he on the boat? Do I get on it? Oh, I'm actually riding it. <laughs> There's always time to have a ride on a duck when you're looking for your son. I feel like I made a mistake. I don't want to go in here now. Yeah. Named Hansel and a, and a girl, girl named, named Gretel. Gretel. They were very poor and had very little to bite or suck. What will become of us? The woodcutter asked his wife one night. I tell you what, husband, we will take the children into the thickest part of the forest oh. tomorrow and abandon them there. No, my wife, I cannot do that, no. said the man. Then we will all four starve, you fool. Hansel and Gretel overheard their parents talking, and Gretel began to weep. Do not fret, Gretel. What the fuck is that? Hansel said. He crept out of the hut gathered white stones from what? the ground to fill his pockets. Nah, dude. Oh my god. The next morning, I don't care. Why is there a guy the there? Into the forest. Mate. Before they leave, their mother gives them a mm. slice of bread and warns them that they will get no more food. Oh my god, day. this is so fucking creepy. Clever Hansel leaves no. a trail of white stones behind them as they pass into the woods. When their father leaves, Dad. Them, the children wait a while, then follow the trail back to their parents' house. Alrighty then. After receiving hmm. a thorough scolding from their parents for getting lost in the woods, the children are sent to bed without any supper. Hansel tried to sneak out and collect more white Am stones. Am I stuck on this now for the whole journey? Tomorrow I will take them into the woods myself, the wife told the woodcutter. 
In the morning, their mother gave them a slice of bread and led them deep into the forest once again. Oh, what the fuck's going on? Ooh. Just come in and stay with me. Just get the bit to the bit where she eats the kids. Fuck off, man! She stuffed Hansel into a cage and put Gretel to work, sweeping and cleaning her hut. Piece of shit! The witch, for her part, can I just fucking? Right, we're nearly out. Today, I will. Because this fucking sucks. And then, because even children can't survive on sweets. They divided up the body of the old witch and ate her. I don't remember that bit. I remember them eating sweets, but I don't remember them eating the witch. Oh, whatever floats your boat. Can you just... I just want to get back on land. <gasps> oh my fuck off, man! Oh, what the f... Oh, that is so gay. Don't you look at me, swan. Oh my god. This fucking game. Can I just get out? Just let me get out of the fucking boat, please. Right. Done. Out. Dusted. Oh, fuck this game. Fuck it so hard in the ass. Swan's gingerbread and chocolate. Take a bite through the tunnel of tails. Callum, stay where you are. Hansel and Gretel. I used to read it to Callum when the electricity was shut off. Those poor children. The whole world against them. The forest. The birds. The old witch, even their own parents. I used to imagine that Callum and I were the kids in that story. Not mother and son, but brother and sister, hand in hand against the unkind world. We were always hungry, looking for our own house made of candy. Looking for the sweetness that could take the pain away. Hunger leads people to desperate, terrible places where the tree branches reach like claws. Hmm. Sweetie, well, I'm guessing he's gone up this way. Hello, hello. All right, I'm not even chanting for Callum now. Callum? Oh, there he is. Where'd you go? <laughs> Come back, <laughs> Callum, you little shit. You are another accident. This place. Okay, this is just Callum. so weird. I don't want to open the door. Why did I even open the door? Read the note. Is that not his teddy bear? No. I guess not. Callum, where did you go? Okay, now he's now the kid's getting really fucking weird. Huh? Ooh. Oh <gasps> wow. Yes. Wait, it's not going to be pleasant, is it? Ah, sod it. Callum, where are you? Right. That thing just looks fucking creepy. This old thing used to make the blood run to my head. It used to make me dizzy. Right, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to end that video here and um, before we go on to a, another ride. Now, this game is actually... Oh, this game got me a few times and I was like... The thing is, it drags things out to lose your attention and then it just fucking all hits you with something that just makes you shit your pants. But this game's actually pretty decent. If you guys want to see more of this, please let me know in the comment section and like the video just so I know what you guys are enjoying. 
and what you guys are not. But thank you very much for watching this video. I hope you guys are having a fantastic day. And until next time, catch you guys later. Oh shit. Yep, there's one. How the fuck did he still see me? I'm light off.